With the recent action from the SEC regarding Binance and Coinbase, XRP is actually bucking the trend and in the green. Besides playing with puppies lately, well, they're taking a nap now, I thought I'd share with you XRP holders some great news that should give you some amazing hope. And no, this isn't hopium. This is proven time and time again. We'll start it off with the heat map where XRP, yes, is bucking the trend. Up 5% in the last 24 hours, sitting at 51.5. Remember, the XRP community is alive above 50 cents. Think of the beatdown recently. In fact, look, look at BNB right above it. All right, we talked about the SEC going after Coinbase and Binance, all right? This is what we got right here. We have 67 different cryptos listed as securities. As always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. So if you want to read any of these yourself, you're totally welcome to. Some brutal, brutal stats. The regulator pressed 13 charges against Binance on June 5th. We know about that. Then they also went after Coinbase on similar grounds. Trading volume across major decentralized exchanges jumped 444% in the hours following the legal actions, peaking people making money moves or maybe playing defensive money moves. In the six months after FTX's bankruptcy, SEC crypto-related enforcement actions rose by 1%. 183 percent seriously if you like stats and all that read those articles i will have them down below sec lawsuit 67 cryptocurrencies everyone bnb cardano matic solana adam sandbox decentraland axie cody icp near matic chili's flow vgx next i mean it's it's crazy list all right but this is what i want to talk about yes solana you can fight back all you want in polygon i get it you can fight back Current administration isn't going to allow it. I did a video earlier about that. I'll have it linked at the end called They Did It. I'm not picking sides here, but remember, Biden appointed Gensler. Biden is letting Gensler do whatever he wants. Anything that's done in the House is going to be blocked by Warren in the Senate, right? The Democrats are going to protect their own on this one. Now, so what I'm talking about with good news with XRP Look at this. Yes, you see the nasty candlestick right here. A low of 48.2 with a high of 53.8. That's a pretty substantial swing. So like I said, crypto is very volatile, all right? But now look at this, right? We found ourselves some better positive movement. In it. Today, we're above 50 cents the whole time. 50.4 as a low to 51.5 as a high. So again, XRP is still holding on above that 50 cent mark. This run here, we haven't had a closeout or a 24 hour period where we've been below that 50 cents now since when everyone? The 28th of May. That's actually, this is really good news. So think about that. Put that in perspective. All of this stuff going on now, SEC going after Coinbase, SEC going after Binance. XRP, guys, the damage has been done. XRP's already been beaten up. The SEC's already gone after them. So for the companies out there that haven't had SEC action or the ones that are getting new ones, they're getting destroyed. Look at BNB. Look at BNB above 300 now since when? May 12th. They've been above 300. They've held that for three months. Boom. SEC action. We take that from above 300, a high of 305 to a low of 233. A drop of $70 in the last several days with that action. Huge peel off of BNB. So like I said, the good news is XRP's already had its face rubbed in the dirt. There's companies out there and people right there. There are, there's people watching this right now going, hey, I own X, Y, and Z. I I'm in the clear. I haven't heard anything about the SEC going after me. It doesn't mean the SEC is not. But what you can tell here is the ones that haven't had SEC and now are getting more action, they're getting destroyed. XRP is still holding its own. Think about it. Think of all the crap that XRP has gone through. Still top six market cap wise. I mean, while the entire market is shrinking. And again, I'll go back to the map. You guys give me sometimes crap for the map. I like it. It's a good visual. Look at that. XRP, a big blob of dark green and a rather sea of pretty much light green. Look, ETH up 0.87. Bitcoin up 0.93%. BNB up 0.36. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, because the damage has been done. By what, 25% almost action on them to the negative side? So yes, XRP ahead, bucking the trend, still holding on strong. Like I said, we've been here now since the 28th of May, above that 50 cent mark. And that's good news for you. XRP is definitely resilient. Look, the, the news is bad with the SEC. And, and honestly, unless you're using your SpongeBob, 
imagination, right? It's not going to go away. In fact, his friend Patrick, who's even dumber than a rock, knows imagination isn't going to work here. The SEC is going to keep mulling crypto and Gensler's appointed by Biden until the elections in 2024, right? And that's if we control all three, right? That's the only way you're going to get pro-crypto policy in. So we're going to have to withstand the onslaught from Gary Gensler in the SEC. And if you want to check out that video, follow my friend SpongeBob. He is going to point you up here to the Gary Gensler video. Like I told well, I you, already did that. I got an hour bike ride right one of two things. Videos? Just got done with it now. Well, I'm actually going to go eat prep meals for the rest of the day. See if the puppies are awake. Take them out for a walk. You cool cats. Have a great rest of your day.